Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial today and this is going to be specifically about uploading your assets to the Unity Store and exactly how to go about it from setting up the accounts, specifically working with the account on the publisher side, signing in and being able to upload your assets and the best ways to do it and what to make sure to remember and to add each time you upload something. So we'll get straight into it. You can go to unity3d.com forward slash asset dash store forward slash sell dash assets or type it into Google that selling assets to the store and it'll give you a brief rundown. So before you get started, you need to make sure that you've got a Unity account and you can go and follow the link to create one there. Once you've created your Unity account, you can read the publisher agreement and just if you want to read the actual ins and outs of it, it will give you some basic information. You can have a look at the submission guidelines and one of the biggest things to look at on the actual submission guidelines is on the asset store promotional asset guidelines for in the 2.4 key images and it will actually give you a document which gives you a breakdown of exactly what you want each of your images to end up looking like. This is a little bit of an older example, but you can get some information there and it will have it all in the information. You need to make sure that you have, once you've registered your general Unity account, you can create a publisher login account where you need to give just details about where you live. And you might have to, depending where you live, if you live in the US or the UK, you'll have to give tax information based on if you're a company or you're just a sole individual and you can work it from there. It's fairly straightforward and you just have to verify who you are and if you were like me from the UK you have to fill in a specific form to get yourself started. And then once you're there you can go to and log in to your publisher administration and you can access the package manager. So I'll show you that on my side. Then you can also go to the Unity documentation which is the asset store publishing guide which will actually give you a breakdown of the basic steps that you need to go through to be able to upload a package but I'll show you as if we're going to create one ourselves today. So when you get to your dashboard, this is the specific one for what I've released to the Unity Asset Store and you've got several different tabs. You've got where you can check out your reviews, you can check to do upgrades, you can check your overall sales, how many downloads you've had, the revenue, you can verify any invoices from people who might have bought something, you can make vouchers up to 10 a year. You can look at the users that you give access to your account so you can have multiple people that have access, payout information which will lead you to your actual other main Unity account which will be tied to and your specific information about how you want your page to be set out but I won't show you any of these tabs specifically because they're not really relevant to being able to upload these are just something you can mess around with yourself so I've you've got all your packages in a list here but you might not have any if you've created one so let's go and we would want to start off what we want to release something to the asset store so we could create a new package and when we go there We'll get a new screen and you can see that when we're here it will just be a list of things that we've got to go through before we can submit to the asset store. So we'll give a basic example. It will currently be untitled with a version of 1.0 and a first release. We have to give it a category. Let's say we're going to upload my one of my tutorial scenes and I'll show you in Unity as we go through. It's going to be some 3D props and it's going to be 3D props and exterior. We can choose to give it a price or we can choose to make it free. In this case, it can't be lower than $4.99, but you can just set it to free and make sure that you click save on that to save the category and everything. Because when you come to do it, it won't do anything. Now you come to section two, because section one is pretty straightforward. You've got your metadata, which is the description, the title of your asset. We've got key images, we've got audio and video and screenshots. and the one that's not doesn't have to be added but I would recommend it is any audio or video content. Screenshots are required, the key images are required and the metadata is required. So say we click on our metadata here, we've got a title and I might call it Speed Tutor Tutorial Scene. So I'll give you an example and show you the metadata for the Speed Tutor Tutorial Scene. So you can see here, you can see that I've given it a title and I've given it a description. So you can give it, uh, like I said, a HTML tag for creating a reference to something. You can find that easily online. You can use the BR code to do line breaks. You can use strong to make something bold and you can just write a simple description and then you can use something to create a blog. It depends what you want it to do and what you want to say. And then you want to have some specific keywords that are specific to your asset. So when we can save that and press back and we'll go back to our original page and then we can look at 
key images as a different example and these will be very specific to specific sizes that you need to cater for so you need to create a 160 by 160 pixel object and I will always create a template for each different size for every different asset a card image cover image and a social media image which isn't as relevant because it's only if unity end up posting it on their social media and it's not as common for that to happen so the you have to have all four but these three are the most important this will be on your front page this will be something on the new asset store which will be directly on the, in the search results and this appears as a specific icon elsewhere so once you upload those and create those you can upload them there you've got audio and video which you can just upload a URL to a video which is really easy you can just add the video in and that's perfect and screenshots is, is really similar to the actual key images that your screenshots can be just say 1080p 1920 by 1080 and you can just create them with whatever style you might be looking for and we have section 3 which is to upload a package and once we've uploaded a package to the store you will be able to give specific information about it. So we'll go ahead on to Unity now. So say I'm going to give this as an example. So I'm going to upload this, the speed tutor tutorial scene. This is the one that I've uploaded before, which everybody can get for free. I usually like to create a single folder, which is going to be directly uploaded to the store and split everything else out into specific folders. So you create one for materials, prefab scene, textures, if you've got scripts, if you've got anything else which is specific to thing I have it that if somebody was going to use your asset how would you like them to use it and make sure you maybe have a demo scene so they can actually test it out you don't want to add any specific standard assets like the FPS controller because unity will automatically fail that and not you let you upload it to the store whereas you might want to put it in your documentation which you upload with the asset which in this case just gives you some basic information about the asset that's there but you might also want to put that your specific setup how you're supposed to use it on anything like that but because this is a basic example with a basic sort of scene it doesn't really need any setup it's just some models so you can pick it up and just go with it from there so now we're ready we've got everything managed into a nice neat folder we've got our demo scene we're ready to upload you've got your documentation we need to go to the asset store and then we can actually type in asset store or something like that and we're looking for the asset store tools specifically which we need to download so you literally need to update and download these and it's really really it's a tiny little file and it just allows you to access the asset store through unity so you import that into your project as you would any asset and it'll appear in your assets section and you'll get a new section at the very top which is called asset store tools and you can go to publisher upload you can click that you may need to log into your publisher account but you can see then you get a massive list of all the things you've previously uploaded you can see that something we created which is called untitled but if you'd given the metadata and just pressed save on the title it would have updated it so then we can just press select and we can choose the speed shooter tutorial which is in this asset pack and we can just press select you will need to click to include dependencies if you actually want to include stuff that's from the package manager in more recent versions of unity and you can actually choose to validate the package if you want to check anything and make sure everything's okay and then you can just click upload and it will take its time depending on how big it is and then it will upload to the store so then it suggests you should go back to the publish portal so if we just press and update to refresh the page that we created for the thing that we're going to upload you can see that my version is unit 2019.3.1 and when the date it was uploaded with how big it is 27 megabytes and then you need to specify the actual platforms and the dependencies that it has so you can say where will it be built to how will it be what versions will it run on and if it's models it'll run on pretty much every version so you could take that and what will it run on will it run standard lightweight render pipeline and high definition render pipeline and whether it has any dependencies from the asset store and you can specify yes or no and once you've done that you can choose to either auto publish it and you always need to tick the eye on the rights to sell these assets if you untick auto publish it just means that it'll be verified if everything's okay and then you can then specify when it should be uploaded to the store but once you've done all that it's a simple process but it takes longer than you think when you've got to create the metadata the key images and make sure everything's arranged nicely then once you click the upload button and you go and leave it up to unity to decide when it should be uploaded it may take between one or two weeks you know give or take depending on how much they've got to verify on any particular given 
bunch day, week, month. So if they actually decline the asset, you would need to click on the drop down in the corner, which will say pump published pending review or draft. You will need to go to your published. It will have one which says declined. You go to the decline tab and you might click on, let's say, because these are just drafts. You would click on the asset which was declined just like so and then in this corner it would just say create a new draft to edit so you just create a new draft on top of it to edit whatever unity may have failed it on if it included something that wasn't acceptable like standard assets or there was some specific reason there was an error or something that they found within your upload so then all you do is follow the same steps to make sure you might need to upload the package again to that new draft and then once you've done and you're happy with everything follow those simple steps again and just click auto publish and because you've already been accepted once it will be quicker this time around so it won't take one to two uh, weeks again the basic process is to just create yourself a unity account the publisher account look at the administration make sure you filled in all your basic personal information tax information and how you're going to be paid you go to the publisher logging and create a new package as it suggests you can upload that package sign into and download the asset store tools sign in and log in select the package you wish to upload then you wait for that to upload it'll appear in your package manager as you would expect you can set all the chip make sure you check all the specific version numbers and everything and make sure you've got all your metadata selected and everything up to date make sure to check out my new discord that i created it'll have a link in the description so you can check that out and be sure to share any of the great games you might be creating anything that you want to discuss with the community be sure to leave a comment give me any advice and give it any tutorial select suggestions take a look at my assets on the unity store and be sure to check out my patreon if you're looking to support the channel so thanks very much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers